250 years ago, this was the scene of a catastrophe, a bloody calamity, when this church, this entire church, collapsed during the great earthquake in Lisbon. The city of Lisbon was reduced to rubble on the 1st of November, 1755. First came the quake, registering up to nine on the scale of magnitude, creating cracks up to 16 feet wide. It was All Saints Day, so candles were lit in churches and other places. And as the candles toppled, it sparked an inferno that engulfed the ancient buildings asphyxiating people up to a hundred feet away from the blaze. Thousands were already dead in the first minutes of the earthquake. The survivors fled down to the docks to escape the fires, which was a fatal mistake, because 40 minutes after the quake, a massive tsunami crashed into the city. The quake had lasted about six minutes and its epicenter was off the Atlantic coast. The shock waves were felt as far away as Brazil and Finland, and 85% of Lisbon's buildings lay in ruins, including the royal palace. The convent of Carmel up on the hill now lay in absolute ruins, and it wasn't demolished after the quake. Even today, its medieval external walls look solid enough from the outside, like any grand church in Europe. But if you look up from the queue of tourists, the truth begins to emerge. Go through the main door and you can see what happened throughout the city on that day. This was a holy day for the mainly Catholic population and most were worshipping at their local churches, expecting nothing untoward. The church collapsed on All Saints Day, so it was full of parishioners when the roof literally came down on their heads. While the king cowered outside the city, his chief minister, the Marquis of Pombal, took control. He issued a famous order to bury the dead and heal the living. And with considerable energy and drive, he began to reconstruct the city using dictatorial powers. But all of this was too late for the fabulous convent built nearly 400 years before. It's hard to imagine now what the faithful must have thought as God seemed to punish them on that holiest of days. The world must have appeared to be ending. You can only imagine the survivors emerging from the rubble, then gazing at the rest of the city, realizing that everything had gone. This was the only public building kept as a reminder of what had happened in Lisbon on the 1st of November, 1755. So from the ruins of the convent of Carmu in Lisbon, goodbye for now.